Happy Vlogmas Day 3! Gotta get some coffee going. Since I used my other Christmas mug last night for tea, I wanna use my new pottery mug. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna do 10 ounces today. Oh, I'm so excited to drink out of this mug. It's the little things in life. I also feel like I need to ice roll. Waiting for my coffee. <laughs> Awaiting my lover, my coffee. I'm just like thankful that I like coffee because I get so excited to get out of bed to make a cup of coffee and I'm such a hot coffee girly. I like iced coffee in the afternoon but no matter what time of year it is, in the summer, whatever, I'm having a hot cup of coffee in the morning. It gets things moving, it calms me down in a way because it like is going through my body and it like the hot. I I, can't, I'm, I just woke up, you guys, you have to give me a second with my words. The heat in my chest, I don't know, it feels good. I also, if you guys are new here, I start my day with decaf coffee actually because I find it gives me this random spurt of energy if I just have caffeinated coffee right when I wake up and then I kind of lose it and then I get anxious. So I usually pretty much always start with decaf coffee or like if I go to Starbucks, I'll get half decaf, half caffeinated, which is the awesome thing they do. So like this morning, I'll have decaf coffee. And if I'm like getting ready later and I'm like tired, I need energy, then I will make a real coffee. I have caffeinated coffee here too, or I'll have a Celsius, like half of a Celsius or something. I like caffeine. I just don't think I need it right when I wake up because I don't really know where my levels are at. Like if I'm awake, like I really like haven't needed caffeine too much lately. So not to brag, no, I'm kidding. Just feels nice. Oh my gosh, this cup. I love holding it. I love how it like narrows up on the top. It's, it's truly the little things. I hope it keeps my coffee hot. It's a, it's a green morning, huh? Gonna light today's candle. Gotta light my balsam candle. It's almost done and I don't have another one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've been using this Glossier mintbomb.com salve on my lips. I don't love lip balms where you have to like put it on your lip, like put on your fingers because it makes your fingers sticky. But when I'm at home, it's fine because then I just take hand sanitizer. But it feels really good and it's minty. So it almost makes me feel like my breath is fresh even though it's, I simply haven't brushed my teeth yet. I'm so happy because Lauren just texted in our group chat from the workout yesterday and she goes, guys, I am so sore. I thought it was just me. And she's like, I am literally so sore. Oh, and so is Bridget. Okay, good. Because I haven't really worked out like that in a few weeks, so I was like, it's probably just me, but they're all like, no, it literally hurts to walk. I could not get out of bed, like I told you guys. Okay, the first sip. Someone said this is cringe when I do this, but I literally don't care. It makes me so happy. Ready? <laughs> my glass is fogging up. Oh my gosh, that hits. And like the way I can hold this mug, it's seriously the simple pleasures. I love having my Yule log on right now and typically on a weekday I'll wake up, I'll respond to emails while the Yule log's going and I have cozy Christmas jazz playing but I'm like, it is the weekend, like, let me lounge around a little bit. No one's gonna respond to my email if I email them right now but sometimes I like to get ahead on work because then Monday morning it's a little bit less overwhelming for me but like a little Christmas movie sounds kinda nice right now, right? <laughs> I'm literally sitting here doing my Theragun. I have the mini one. It's amazing, especially on days if you are really sore from working out. Like, oh my gosh. It feels so good. It hurts so good. Like, I feel like it's helped kind of move around my muscles. I don't even know. It just, it's just kind of helping with the soreness for sure. It's sore, it's tender when I put it on the tender spots, but it's easier for me to walk when I do it. It's time to make some breakfast going to brunch today before the game and they have really good like breakfast food so i think i'm gonna not have eggs right now so i can like have eggs for lunch i'm just obsessed i've got just the right amount of berries left to do a yogurt parfait if you guys used to watch me in college i used to make yogurt parfaits a lot for breakfast and someone commented on one of my vlogs or something like Parfait Danny is unfrost, is defrosting. <laughs> like, here she comes. Like, I it used to be a big thing. I use the Purely Elizabeth organic granola. The stuff is so, so tasty. Chobani 
Greek yogurt, non-fat plain. My dad says goat yogurt, I think, is the best for you. Oh, no, sheep's yogurt's the best for you. And then goat and then technically cow. But, like, I love Greek yogurt. Um, just thought I'd sprinkle in one of uh, my dad's tips every day. Raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. If they're good, oh, I don't know if they're good. So, let's build a parfait. Ta-da! Okay, just ate my breakfast and watched some YouTube videos. I realized it's 11.30, brunch with friends is at 1.30, and I wanna do like an in-depth get ready with me, like makeup routine for you guys today. I'm gonna make an emergency. I'm not feeling sick at all, but if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, um, I'm having like sinus pressure. I'm literally not even congested, but I guess this is a thing, and an article I read said to like up your vitamin C intake. So I have these from when I was sick. So I'm like, let's make some emergency. My apartment is kind of messy right now. And if I get ready and everything now, I'm just gonna leave it even messier. So I'd rather before I start getting ready, make my bed. My bathroom has like hair products everywhere from last night and my hallway. I'm about to expose myself so hard. <laughs> Let me show you guys my hallway. Ugh, I love the taste of emergency. So having a hallway is very dangerous because you can't see anything in the hallway from here. I'm like, I don't even want to turn the corner. <laughs> yeah. So it's all things that can be fixed really fast. I'm just gonna put on a podcast. Um, but I have all these coats I've worn throughout the last few days and just like I'm just too lazy to hang them up like come on Danielle and then I have Boxes I've opened like trash bags that just needs to be taken down and I'm just like I think cuz my last apartment I would always see the boxes But now that it's in the hallway I forget and then I'll be like leaving to go somewhere and I'm like oh now I don't have time so We're just I mean, it's not it's really it's actually really not that bad at all, but it stresses me out and like if I if I bring someone back to my apartment no, like if I don't know if one of my friends comes back with me later after the game I'm going to hate my life if my hallway's like this because that's just who I am. My closet room looks pretty good. I just have like makeup there, but I'm about to do my makeup again. And my kitchen's pretty good. Um my bathroom. This will take five seconds. Just need to put some things back in order. Um, my bed I need to make oh my gosh literally this morning. I was having like a moment I was like good morning world my rod fell down. So I need to put that back up There's just things that need to be done. So enough about me talking about the things I'm going to do Let's start the cleaning montage now showered it's time to do my makeup I know myself tan on my hands it's just not I'm getting a spray tan next week for the girls on the go live show get excited um so don't worry self tan hands no longer after this so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I've been doing for my makeup lately um per request and I think it's fun to talk about products so first I always spray my face with the caudalie beauty elixir I use this throughout the day to re like to refresh my face at night, like after I do skincare, like all of the above. Oh, I use it to set my makeup too. Oh my god, it smells so good and feels so good. 
I'm trying out, I've been trying out for like a, a week and a half, this Augustinus Botter, the Rich Cream. It's so expensive. Um, and I really wanted to try it because a lot of makeup artists I've worked with use it. And they love it. I feel like, like it's definitely like a rich cream. It's definitely thick, but I have noticed my makeup applies really well over top. So, but I, I haven't decided if it's worth the money yet, and like if I'll repurchase, but I'm trying it out. It hasn't like done anything crazy to my skin yet, so that's always good. I also have been loving this eye cream. It's the Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening, Brightening Cream from First Aid Beauty. Um, one of my very good friends, Kelly, Makeup by Kellyanne, talks about this stuff and loves it. It like literally has like a glow in it. So it definitely brightens up your under eyes. I just wet my beauty blender because I am learning that it looks a lot better. It applies a lot better when it is a wet beauty blender. So I did that. I get really lazy sometimes, but it just is a better application. I have not strayed away really from this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, at least for like when I want to look super cute and it's like my full makeup routine. I know I'm taking pictures and stuff. I have two different shades. Oh, my neck is splotchy too. I don't even know what I'm wearing, that would be helpful to know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix these two shades, I think. A little dark, a little light. My robe keeps getting caught in the vanity. Okay. This reminds me of that TikTok sound of the girl doing her beauty blender. I just remembered, if you guys watched my vlog yesterday, wow, I completely forgot. I like, I'm not gonna put foundation on my forehead yet because I like to do my brows before I put any face makeup up there because otherwise if I like put brow gel on foundation it like moves the foundation around and looks really bad. So I use the Refi, I look crazy right now, I use the Refi brow gel. This stuff is glue. Like let me tell you if you're into that kind of laminated look. I like it because if you pull off the cap there's two different sides and you can brush it up if you want. You can do one of these but I'll just like scoop it back so it's like flat against my face that laminated look as best I can perfect all right let's put foundation on the forehead now <laughs> so today's plans include brunch at Poco they have bottomless and like I'm sure I'll do it I just don't think I'll drink a lot because champagne makes me super sleepy I cracked myself up I'm the one that made these plans like we were all gonna do brunch, but I was the one that said Poco. Just because I used to live over by Poco in the East Village, it is so much fun. If you're looking for a really fun place to go get drinks and like food, their the food's okay. Um, I like their breakfast food, like I said. It is so fun. They blast the music, there's disco balls everywhere. Everyone there is in a good mood. It's usually a ton of big groups, so like a ton of big tables, everyone's just ready for the day so I was like that'll be a fun place to go before the game the game's at 3 30 and yeah so I'm going with some girls that I became closer with I'd say honestly post-grad but we all did go to Georgia together some of us had classes together one of them we met like freshman year orientation at Georgia so yeah concealer I use this bare minerals concealer just like around my nose and like any I don't even know what this is called. Bare Minerals Liquid Mineral Concealer. I don't know if it's a, it's like the best concealer in the world. As you can see, I'm very lazy with covering things. But I use it when I remember. I don't even use it every day, honestly. But I do find that it looks good if I put concealer around my nose. It just looks more clean and flawless. I'm not flawless, but I try. Under Eye Concealer, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I also love the Kosas Revealer Concealer, but I ran out, I think. So, I do love the Tarte Shape Tape. It's thick, but I mean it. It brightens. It does what it needs to. I will say that much. <laughs> I just started using this, and I get the hype. It's amazing, so I want to shout out. This is the Rare Beauty Power Boost Bronzer Stick. It is so good. I want to ask, though, what do you guys do once it starts to get to the nub, does that just mean you need a new one? Like I don't, oh wait. I can push it up. And I just put it on 
like the, under my cheekbones and then my forehead and on the sides of my nose and I use my wet beauty blender to help blend it It actually I get really intimidated by these but this actually blends really well I just try to blend up into the cheekbone rather than like down and I try not to get it in my hairline because I've done that before and being blonde it shows but it does look really, really nice, and it's a really nice contour. By the way, I will link all the products I'm using today down below. It just blends so nicely with the Beauty Blender, and it just gives you this natural contour look and bronze at the same time. So I get the hype. I've had this for a while, and I was just really intimidated to use it. And then I think I saw Audrey Trellinger made like a TikTok, and she was using it, and I was like, ooh, that is nice. And then I go over top. I love this stuff. This is expensive as well, but... The Chanel Less Beige um, Cream Bronzer. And I use like an angled stippling brush. And I just kind of go over. I really don't know what I'm wearing today. Oh, but anyways, yeah. So going to Poco at 1.30 and then the game is at 3.30. We're actually not going to the Georgia Bar today. I just found out. We're going, which is called American Whiskey, but we're going to Three Sheets Saloon, which I'm very familiar with actually because um that is the bar right next to the comedy cellar and if you get to the comedy cellar early which i always suggest you do so you can get like a better table up front they're like okay come back in 30 minutes and we'll start loading in and so everyone goes to three sheets saloon but i guess it's a place a lot of people rent out so some of my friends guy friends rented out i think upstairs of three sheets saloon to watch the game which will be fun because american whiskey does get really really crowded I need lip balm too, my lips are dry. American whiskey does get really, really crowded. It's like hard to even get a drink and it becomes more of a socializing thing rather than watching the game. And I guess, I know some people like that, but I do like to try and watch the game while also holding a drink. Um, and it's annoying when you have to like stop watching the game to go to the bar. So I think this will be nice because it'll be a smaller group of people and all people my age, which will be fun. A lot of people I know are going because it's just, you know, the UGA community in, in New York is not that big. So I think it'll be fun. And then I might go to New York Comedy Club tonight with my friend Reagan, who I went to brunch with yesterday, who's in town, because I was telling her about it. And she was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so fun. But not sure yet. So we shall see. Okay, blush. Rare Beauty Nearly Mauve. I've talked about this for a while. I love it. I use this Makeup by Ariel with Morphe brush. This is a cream blush. It's really, really pretty. And I just put it along the bronzer. Gosh, it is so gorgeous. I love this color. A little on the nose. And then I will take a powder blush over top. This is MAC Cheeky Devil Glow Play Blush. I'm into MAC right now. I'm in my MAC era. And just to kind of set the blush, if that makes sense. And we are going to use a setting powder here in a second. I was just trying to do all the creams. Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder is the powder I've been using. I've never like found a face powder. I'm like, oh my gosh, it literally makes such a difference. So if you guys have any that it's like, wow, this actually keeps my makeup in place all day, I just buy new powders every time they're done and I'm like, okay, this is good. I do love Sephora collection in general though. So I don't put the powder everywhere necessarily, especially because it's winter. I'm not like sweating as much. I just put it um, mainly the places the bronzer isn't, like under my eyes, chin, Right here just to make sure the makeup doesn't slide anywhere but i do like a glowy look as best i can okay next up this is a new thing i've been doing and i'm like living for it charlotte tilbury nude gasm face palette i've had this forever um and i just kind of pulled it out again and it has a highlight blush and then two bronzers this might sound crazy but what i do is i take this huge brush from sigma it's the ultimate bronze f78 brush i really really like this brush and i will literally Go like that and put it on my face like all where I would put bronzer and blush or where I'd put bronzer really and then I'll also blend this to my neck and depending on what I'm wearing like once I get dressed I'll probably come back in with it and put it on my chest this brush is just so good it gets so much surface area and it's so nice because oh Ryan's calling me because you also have like the highlight so I'll take that and I'll do a little highlight I don't know I just think it's so fun but this brush wait no i can't remember i think this okay i think this is it oh my god am i gonna hit myself a little highlighter i do like to make sure i'm not doing my glow highlighter today like my say star glow i'm just in the mood to do powder highlighter i don't no way and a little on my nose and my cupid's so 
I have not perfected my eyeshadow. <laughs> That's a big selling point, huh? But this is what I've been doing as of late. Sigma eyeshadow base primer. This stuff keeps your eyeshadow on all day and it's so easy to apply. You just like draw it on your lids and then I'm gonna blend out. Eyeshadow primer is really important if you can remember to do it. I really think it does help and it kind of just gives your eyelids a nice base before you apply anything. So I kind of change up what I do for my eyes. But if it's just like I don't really want to think about it, what I'll do is I'll literally take my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'll just swipe it all over my lids. And I think that is what I'm going to do right now. The bronzer is just such a nice look all over your lids. I think I literally got this tip from Audrey Trellinger as well. She's so good at her makeup. Follow her on TikTok. I love her. I was working out with her yesterday. She's the best. Oops, I accidentally got it. I'm so bad at eyeshadow. I can't lie. Not even gonna try and tell you guys I'm good at it. I'm trying to learn, but I literally just put it all over my lids because it's not too dark, but it just, it looks so good, I think. And then obviously, blend it out a lot. The one thing I am really proud about and I'm excited to show you guys is the mascara I've been using recently, like the combo. It is amazing. And sometimes what I'll do, I just got this Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition. So many amazing colors, all colors I would use. I'll just take like the cream color on the palette with my blending brush and just kind of blend it through to like remove any, if there are any like harsh lines. And then I will pretty much always do this. I love an inner corner highlight. I always get so many compliments when I do it. So I just take like a little flat shader brush and I mix like this glowy color with the cream and I just put it in my inner corner and it just looks so good. You just can't deny that see all right perfect brightening up okay then before i do mascara i set my face because i just don't want to smudge the mascara when i spray so i do it before more of the cuddly beauty elixir just to kind of set all the makeup and give it an extra little glow refresh it all the things my mascara favorite duo right now these two things First up, Lancome Sills Booster XL. L'Oreal also has an amazing one, um, and I've used that before too. I honestly just switch off, but I was in Sephora, and I was like, I need more, so I'll get the Lancome one. The L'Oreal one is more affordable for sure. This is a mascara primer. Maybe not everyone needs this. I do because mascara transfers so easily to my under eyes, and I get so upset about it, so anything I can do to minimize it it's not perfect, but it definitely helps a lot, so I just coat my lashes with this. It's like white. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a lash primer. It is a lash primer. And then this stuff, the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I remember seeing this on TikTok forever ago, and I couldn't get my hands on it. It just was nowhere to be found. And then finally, I think I was in Athens, Georgia at the Target there, and they had it. And I was like, ooh. And I understand why people like it. At least the reason I like it is because it's this super thin spoolie and you can get under your lashes so well and like get all of your lashes if that makes sense. So, and it just makes your lashes look so good. Okay, I feel like I should zoom in for this. I mean, dang. That stuff is good. Yay. See how much it opens up your eyes and like lengthens them or your lengthens your eyelashes. That is my makeup routine when I'm going out or I'm gonna be in photos, you know, that kind of vibe. I'm gonna fix my hair and I need to pick out an outfit. All right, we are all ready. My outfit is super chill. I'll show you guys in a second. Gonna put on some lip gloss. This is my favorite. It's a MAC product. It's MAC Lust. It's the lip gloss and Lust. I need to go buy more because I, I'm obsessed. It's exactly like the Pat McGrath. I think it's also literally called Lust or Flesh Fantasy. No. And that one's always sold out. So I love this one. I'm going to use this bag. I was originally borrowing it from Vivrell. It's a bag borrowing company. I love Vivrell so much. I love this bag so much. It's the Bottega Mini Jody. I actually have it in green and I still use it all the time. 
um but this has just been the best so i actually bought it from them you can buy it at a discounted price from them so i did and it was so worth it like i'm just gonna be using this bag all the time i love how it looks with everything there's like barely any hardware so it's just like all black sleek look as for the fit the base of my outfit is this top from cuts i absolutely adore it fits so well i get size medium in the cuts tees by the way these black pants are from urban outfitters i also have them in like a green color i love them because they're like not super low rise but they're kind of in the middle and they're perfectly baggy they're like cargo pants white nike air force ones i never wear like georgia stuff when i watch georgia games i always wear like red black or white but i always love to wear this jacket when it starts to get colder outside it's this georgia bomber jacket i got for my grad photos senior year and it's so warm and it's just so cute too like georgia bulldogs on the back the red sleeves the patch i'm seriously obsessed with it i feel like it makes the whole outfit it's super sporty vibes i mean we're not going anywhere fancy anyways i don't go as hard as i do for game day like when i'm in athens because people really go out here go all out in athens but here i think this is like perfect city vibes but also go dogs i'm hoping that i'm gonna get some go dogs today by wearing this because whenever i'm with ryan he's like always wearing georgia stuff and i'm so jealous and people are like go dogs so like hopefully I'm repping, you know? So we're gonna head to Poco. We're gonna transfer to my iPhone. We shall see how the day goes. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I need to go cheer on the dogs for matching. Woo! Can we go to the comedy store? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the game at the game at the bar because it was so loud and so many people talking so I'm going home during halftime so I can watch the game I just hate when I can't hear the calls I'm not even trying to be pick me girl okay we're going home I ordered myself a Papa John's pizza let's do this oh my gosh guys I'm back now it's a lot later go dogs <laughs> I guess it's like the Georgia student in me. I fully Uber Eats Papa John's because that just sounds right. Tonight, I'm gonna go with my friend Reagan, who I went to brunch with yesterday at the New York Comedy Club. I'm so excited. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna wait for my Papa John and watch some TV. Okay, bye. Yum.